Hey, Stuart. Hello, Nathan. Where the fuck is MJ? <laughs> I don't know, but he's bloody good, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's podcast. <laughs> It's good to be back. After an enforced break, welcome to the return of Fruck Unwrapped, the official uh, podcast of Food Review UK. My name is Nathan Peterson, and with me, as ever, is the delicious Stuart Bullock. How are you, Stuart? Very well, Nathan. I've missed you. <laughs> Did you just go Nathan? Nathan. Oh, okay. I thought there was a little pause between the, the, the syllables. Nathan. Why do you like um, the pause? I did like the pause, yeah. It's, it's an underused version of my name. <laughs> um, glad to be back on the old uh, podcast wave. Absolutely, yeah. It's been, um, I mean, it's, it's been like six weeks, hasn't it? So it's felt like a, it's felt like a really long time uh, and longer for you, I suppose, because yeah, we, did, we did one without you. Yeah, it's been like nearly two months for me, which has mm. been a killer. Um, oh, absolutely detested happy it. Happy New Year. <laughs> happy New Year, of course. <laughs> Mental. Yeah, literally the last one we did was the Christmas uh, Christmas episode, which is just yeah. weird. Um, We're back now, though, so... We are back. We are without MJ currently. Um Yay! He's put his own pleasure above the podcast. Oh, he's um, not. Not again, is he? He is. <laughs> uh, well, I like, I, think, I like to think he normally pleasures himself during the podcast, but uh, on this occasion, away from it. Um, he's currently watching Black Panther, but he will be with us shortly. In the meantime, sitting in the fourth seat, although technically the third seat at the moment, uh, is a very special guest. He's known for being the co-founder and co-host of Binge Media, the second best podcast uh, podcast network around today. He's starred in some of the most controversial uh, <laughs> some of the most controversial videos on Food Review UK, UK to date, and he will probably attempt a British accent nineteen times tonight. Say hello to my little friend Alex Ansira. Gentlemen, what is going on? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing just fine, sir. How are you? Good. I think you've literally now you've broken the record for longest introduction on this show. Well, you're welcome for that. I got a lot of credits, so I'm glad you uh, you received my email with them and you read them all out. That was great. Absolutely. How do you feel about being on the second uh, co-founder of the second best podcast around? It's good. It's good. I like it. It's high praise. <laughs> I'd, I'm wondering who the first one is. It's got to be well, pre- pretty competitive market. So, I think it's implied, isn't it? I see. I don't get implications. You got to come at me straight. You know what I'm saying? It's us. It's us, Alex. Oh, okay. You, you've moved up in the world by being on this show tonight. My mom would be so proud if she were alive. <laughs> well, there you go. I don't know why I'm laughing. That's a sad story for me. <laughs> like, ha ha! Your mom's dead. That was a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. Hey, me too. High five. Right. Um, tonight's show is going to be about death row. Oh, God, that's an awful fucking segue. <laughs> Great <it>? segue. <laughs> um, we'll be talking about our last meals. But before we do, let's get to know a little about our guest. Um, so those who are new to Fruck or maybe only listen to the podcast, <laughs> Alex, tell us a little bit about yourself and what the heck Binge Media is. Well, Nathan Peterson, um, now that we're being so formal... Uh, Binge Media is the uh, second largest and most popular uh, podcast network on the the planet. True. We focus mostly on movies, TV, and uh, sports with a little comics, some TV episode commentaries as well as film commentaries. And we do it through very thick booze goggles. <laughs> Drinking and swearing is our... Our credo and part of our daily diet. Yeah, no, no holding back. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, you've been going what now? Five years? Yeah, we. Uh, let's see. When did we start? We started. Yeah, yeah. It'll be five years. This year is going to be the fifth anniversary of uh, Binge Media opening its doors. We've had a lot of fun. We are gearing up to hit our one thousandth episode uh, of. The podcast uh, on the podcast network in the next couple of months. So that so, includes all of the shows, doesn't that, it? Yeah, that's all the shows. We have like seven or eight different shows under the podcast network. Ever ever increasing number of shows, as you've let on to me in, in recent days and weeks. That's right. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. Not that we'll uh, mention those in specific here, but um, yeah, no. You, I mean, I think when I started listening to you guys, I think you had the binge cast. I think maybe like one or two other shows, um, mm-hmm. and and now I think you know on a on a on a weekly basis you've got about seven shows a week or something like that. Haven't you, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's a lot, I and mean, people they they love the content. They do love the content. Mm-hmm. You've got a very obviously myself and and Stuart um, avid fans of the podcast certainly would recommend it to anybody listening um listening tonight uh where can they find you uh bingemedia.net and any of the podcast apps that you subscribe to podcasts on excellent excellent um i would say david goss though no point <laughs> recommending it to david goss because he struggles with a podcast over an hour and like i, I mean you get four hours nearly five hours deep on some of the binge podcasts don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. I don't, wouldn't feel great recommending pretty much anything to Gus. Uh, hearing, <laughs> hearing him on different shows. <laughs> no, he's a fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is. It's it's a, an ongoing joke behind the scenes that David Goss. He's only recently got into podcasts, but anything above an hour, he's just. He just doesn't understand the point of listening to it, and it must get repetitive. Hmm. I mean, listening to you guys, as Stuart says, like four hours a week at least. Yeah, it's um, it's crazy. It's, it's a crazy lot. Yeah, the bench cast uh, averages about three and a half hours. Yeah, per show, um, we've gone as long as I think five and a half hours, and it's just it's, ridiculous. It's crazy, right? Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's insane. I think when I first started listening, you, your shows were only about an hour and a half, maybe two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they've just crept up. I remember you guys getting excited slash disappointed when you hit the three-hour mark, and now that's that's a that's a, a quick show. It's it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That, that all said, I still recommend your shows because they keep me entertained during the week and many others. Um, yeah, the binge group is is as I say is you've got a rabid fan base. Um, yeah, which, they're they're pretty insane. Yeah, which is down to you guys. Thanks, man. Um, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> uh, now, you've mentioned to me before that you and the lovely Liz... Hiya, Liz, if you're listening. Um, you've sat down and watched some of our videos in the past. Yes. How... I, I'm intrigued to know what that experience is like for a non-Brit. Like, do you see differences in the food cultures? Um, do you struggle with some of the references? You know, what's it like trying to tap into us? Because I think you said before we're a very British channel. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. How, is that, how is that accessible for someone like you? I, I think if you're not a complete fucking idiot, it's pretty accessible. I mean, you guys are reviewing food from from all over the place. I mean, it could be... It could be like a four-star restaurant, or it could be, you know, like a street hot dog or something like that. You know, like I, I just love how you guys uh, branch off to to different foods. It's almost like you're 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 not above to uh, get down dirty. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, yeah, like I said before, uh, MJ's the dirtiest of them all. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes. No, I was just wondering because obviously, like, obviously, there's a lot of foods that we probably buy that obviously aren't available there, and I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, like I say, how, how that is. Um, yeah, I know it translates well for me. I mean, I think, like I said, I, I think you have to be really, just, you have to be a real goss not to get it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're already taking the piss out of one of our um, hosts. <laughs> You've warmed yourself to many listeners. I am a um, fan of Food Review UK, the video channel on YouTube and the podcast. So I'm coming heavy with the uh, references. Yeah, yeah. Feel, feel free to destroy MJ. He's definitely fair game. As I alluded to in your introduction, you and uh, Mr. Law, yep. in fact, were, mm-hmm. you starred in three of Food Review UK's most controversial videos, I think it's fair to say. Mm-hmm. Um Drunk Americans try, uh, try British foods. Right. How was that experience? And mm-hmm. more importantly, how was it watching it back? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I thought it was a little weird that you started off the video with a lie, considering Mr. Law's a Canadian. 
North American. There you go. Um, All the same. <laughs> pretty much. It, it's pretty much yeah. the same. We call um, we call Canadians snow Mexicans. <laughs> But, like, we're all the same. I, I get it. Um, no, no, listening or watching back was really difficult. I, I actually haven't seen the third part because I just refused oh, to. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, at some point I will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's only taken you more than six months. Don't worry about it. It's, uh, yeah, I had to recover after uh, watching the first two. Um, no, it was a lot of fun doing it. it um, I didn't really – I felt I was in pretty good shape filming it <laughs> until I look back and I was like, oh, I'm getting progressively more blacked out, which which made sense because I didn't remember probably like the last couple of things that we reviewed. Mm. Yeah, I mean, insight for anybody that has seen the video. I mean, we recorded that probably about, I think it was getting close to, it was about midnight on mm. my last night in Chicago after you'd recorded your first ever um, live podcast, and obviously you guys were obviously d- drunk off your fucking tits, <laughs> um, but also obviously high on the experience. There mm-hmm. was about twenty of us in your house. Um, we had an audience of about four or five watching us. Um, I, I was fairly tipsy, yeah. But watching you and Law, I could tell that this was going to be gold for anybody that knew you. It was um, it was a car crash, but a beautiful one. Yeah, like the best car crash. Where like nobody yeah. dies, everyone's outside the car looking back at the car going, I I don't even know how we survived that. This is fucking great. Um it obviously got a few less than tasteful comments, <laughs> which we won't go into here. Um but uh <laughs> but hopefully hopefully this this podcast will right those wrongs and uh, everyone will accept you. It, it was it just the fallout from that video was fucking horrendous, and it's it's obviously it's changed us and how we behave around some of our commenters. <laughs> do you uh, you do you treat them worse now? Um, we certainly are hotter on banning people mm. um, and issuing warnings and, and things like that. We still sort of try and let it slide because we don't want to be too trigger happy. Yeah, no, I get that. Um, none of us on the, that work on the channel are particularly um, uh, offended easily. So we, we, we like to let people express themselves. But obviously when we see malice, like some of it was directed at you and Law, we yeah. try and cut that out now. But um, yeah. Oh, but, uh, anyway, they, they were great videos and thank you for coming on them. And hopefully if I make it out to Chicago this year, then um, maybe we'll record one or two more. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it, man. I, I I do hope you come out to Chicago this year and we can uh, do another round because uh, yep. that was that was a lot of fun. At the very least, we'll do some proper reviews rather than repeating that sort of. Um... No, no, drunk, angry, angry Alex getting yes. really angry about bizarre food products. That's what we want. <laughs> like, oh, it was so good. I've never seen a man get angry about snacks. It's, oh. <laughs> It was weird, your yours and Law's reaction to the most, like, common of English snacks. I mean, some of them, the, the, Law was, I mean, this actually, it, it was wrong of me to bring it. I, I brought a dime bar out there, which I think you liked, but Law hated it the second it went in his mouth. Mm. Um, there's a drop for you. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, just weird that loads of people love that bar mm-hmm. over here. And you, you guys, or he, he in particular, trashed it, and you trashed other things that we love in this country. It was yeah. Peanut butter Kit Kat Chunky. What? Yeah. Get get out. <laughs> it's the best it's the best chocolate. It is the best bar. chocolate bar. That was one that I was really confused at the next day. <laughs> I was like, I like Kit Kats. What am I fucking talking about? You like Kit Kats? You like peanut butter? Love peanut butter. I love any almost any chocolate and peanut butter combination. Right. And yet you just didn't particularly enjoy that. I, you know what? I was. I must have been hamming it up for the camera then. So my, my only, <laughs> the only thing I can think of. The character, the character of Alex yes. did not like yeah, it, but right. the man loved it. <laughs> no, um, you you were featuring Moreno there. This is Alex. I'm the actor who plays uh, Moreno on uh, the. Binge well, show. no, that was that was your officially that was your first night as Alex and Sarah. Oh, and what a great night it was. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe that was why you changed your mind and went back to Morelli. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Ah, let's go back. Fuck this guy. Um, <laughs> just, I just thought, this is yours and Stu's first time on a show together, is that correct? It is. Stuart. Why have I reverted to calling you Stu again? Because you're a bastard. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, this is your first show on together? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's yeah. the first time uh, speaking with voices. Mm-hmm. In we've, each other's ears. We've had, yeah, we've, uh, we've had like minor text altercations in the past but mm-hmm. nothing nothing uh, nothing as monumental as this okay one thing we have started doing with recent guests is asking random questions okay oh, i've forgotten awesome. about random questions because we haven't done this for so long oh, i've oh. never asked you Stuart, so maybe given we're <clears throat> waiting for mj to turn up maybe i'll ask you but um alex please give me three numbers between one and ten. Three, seven, and nine Three, seven, and nine. Lovely. Number three. Marry, fuck, kill. (laughs) Yes. Or dinner. So, can you say that again? Marry, fuck, kill. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh. Um. Wow, this is a good one. I. I, I'm. (laughs) I'm gonna marry. I'm gonna marry. Breakfast. So hard. I love. I love. I absolutely love breakfast. Like, can literally eat it three times. Three times a day. Um, I'm gonna fuck dinner because I love dinner. But sometimes I, you know, I'll eat breakfast for dinner. But like an actual, yeah. you know, um, actual dinner. Like, I just wanna. I I kind of just want to be done with it. Like, it's good. I love it, but. I just, I really want to kick it out of the bed. I don't know why I'm eating in bed, but I really want to <laughs> fuck it and then kick it out of bed. And then obviously I'm killing lunch because really lunch is, it's kind of interchangeable for me. It's not like I won't eat something at lunch that I wouldn't have for breakfast or dinner. Mm. Like that beef sandwich. Mm. Well, okay, I probably wouldn't have that for breakfast, but I would definitely have that for dinner. Why wouldn't you have it for breakfast? It's delicious. Set yeah. you up for the day. <laughs> Nice, like, fried runny egg on top of it. Oh. <laughs> Stuart's not a fan of egg in any shape. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, Disgusting. Yeah, I'll ask you then, Stuart. Cool. Marry, fuck, kill, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Um, I will... Do you know what? This is so hard. I think I would probably marry dinner. Because that's the one that I can live with. I, I love breakfast, but for me, breakfast is often just kind of a throwaway thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make sweet love to breakfast, yeah. uh, and I will kill I will kill lunch, but I'm killing it with a heavy heart. Uh, there's no there's no joy like with most of my killings. I will be killing <laughs> it with a heavy heart. <laughs> that's fair. I, I, it's it's weird. I, I'm I'm I would kill breakfast. I just Ooh. I. I I just don't lo- love it. I can it, most days I don't have breakfast, so it's just easy for me to dispose of. Mm-hmm. But um, it seems like lunch is the least favourite for everybody. It seems a popular one to kill off. Um, now, can we can we play just... um, what MJ? What we think MJ would choose for? He would just oh, he would just he make would sweet love to them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah he he'd, he'd fuck everyone. Yeah, what a mess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He would, yeah, and then he'd kill him because that's oh. that's that's his mo. Um, actually, sometimes it's kill then fuck. But anyway, uh, number seven. Do you have any weird food quirks? Um, I don't think so. Not a, not as much. Uh, now, uh, I, w- I was telling my girl the other day because we were listening to a fuck podcast. How about that? <laughs> and um, does Liz listen? She listens. Yeah. Oh. Does she hate MJ? She can't stand MJ. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> she, She's the um, best. yeah. So we were talking about uh, about you guys and you know just as like personalities on the podcast. And I was and I was thinking about you know like when I was a little kid, I was such a, a fucking picky eater. Like I I wouldn't put syrup on my pancakes. Get out. Yeah, I was just what like, why why would I put syrup on when I could just put more butter on? Butter tastes better. Fucking weirdo. See, mm. see, we—I don't think we have 
butter on pancakes in this country, do we, Stuart? Is, is that a thing that you've heard of? I Well, I think people who've been to America or have been to um, a decent American-style joint will, mm-hmm. will butter the pancakes. Mm. But I reckon that there are more people who've got issues with butter than have got issues with syrup. Like, I... I couldn't eat, still to this day, couldn't eat. If you made a piece of toast that wasn't hot enough to fully melt the butter and there was visible butter, mm-hmm. I, couldn't eat, I couldn't eat that. Syrup, <laughs> bucket loads. <laughs> bucket loads. <laughs> um, yeah, that, well, that's weird. I, I, I love to see my butter on my toast. I, I, if, it's, mm-hmm. if it's melted by the time I'm getting to eat it, then it can just go straight in the bin. You're a um, savage. <laughs> it's 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 good that you bring up pancakes as uh in the uk today it is in fact pancake day and i don't think that's a oh. holiday that the that is uh celebrated in america is it shrove tuesday pancake day no there is a pancake day i just don't i don't know if it's actually today or not though oh okay um I, 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 whoa, 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 hang on. america's a christian country isn't it yeah you you must have shrove tuesday it's like it's an Easter thing. It's a Jesus thing. But yeah. they have pan- but they have pancakes on the regs, Stuart. Correct. I suppose mm-hmm. it'd be yeah. like us having food day. Absolutely. I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to hit up the the um, International House of Pancakes and see what their protocol is. Oh, I love the IHOP. Oh, dude, they closed <laughs> so many of them in Chicago. I'm so pissed off. At least you had them. We've I never had one in our life. Oh, really? No. Huh. No, there's there's that, so there's sad. not a lot of places that sell pancakes in general. Wow, that's so not, sad. not like no. Do you know what? There's there's more and more. I've got a local place that does really good ones to me. Can't remember the name of it. Otherwise, I give them a shout out. But are they closer to crepes or American pancakes? No, no, full on pancakes, full wow. on American style pancake breakfast. They do waffles as well. It's absolute sick things. It's and it's cheap as. It's amazing. Oh, it's like an, an it's an, it's broadly speaking an Italian cafe. But it does American style breakfast and stuff. It's great. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, amazing. Oh, uh, just uh, uh, really quick to close that loop. I was talking to uh, Liz um, while we were listening to Fruck, and I was like, you know, because I was thinking about how MJ has all these fucking weird quirks, weird food <laughs> quirks, and I was like, you know what? I'm, I was MJ as a little kid, like very picky about like what I ate. And as an adult, like, I think I'm more on Nate's side, like, a little adventurous, but still, like, I know what I like. Mm-hmm. And then um, she's like, well, what about Stuart? And I'm like, I have fucking no idea. Like, <laughs> maybe when I'm, like, a 70-year-old man, I'll, have, I'll, I'll be Stuart, like, eating sardines out of a can and shit. You know, like, <laughs> this is fucking delicious. <laughs> oh, I love this. Just been referred to as a 70-year-old uh, year old man. I've got 30, 30 and a half years left. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you just have the characteristics and mannerisms of one. <laughs> just not the body of one. And face and beard and body and scrotum. Yeah. Oh, we've obviously commented on MJ a million times <laughs> mm-hmm. about how his, uh, how he he's the guy who started and runs a food review channel and yet he's probably the fussiest eater mm-hmm. out of everybody that works on the channel. Um, it's remarkable. Yeah, he just had like his first burger like two weeks ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he quite liked it. That's good for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, number 10. Oh, no, 9, 9. He didn't say oh, 7, nine. 9. Sorry. 3, 7, 9. What? Sorry, I thought it was 3, 7, 10. I circled the wrong one. Um, number 9. Would you rather eat in a restaurant on your own... Or at a table of annoying strangers? Uh, alone. alone. A psychopath! <laughs> alone. So awkward! I, I com- think it's awkward to sit around... I think it's way more rude to sit around with a bunch of annoying people and not, like, want to s- slap them in the face with a pancake. Um. <laughs> I suppose the fact you- that I'm, fr- I'm friends with Michael Jameson means that I've become somewhat immune to sure. yeah. annoying people. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you quite comfortable with your own um, person? No, what am I thinking? Fuck yeah. You- 
<laughs> that makes it easier then. Yeah. I, I just I don't know why I'm just th- I'm just picturing PMC listening to that and him just getting stressed out at the prospect of sitting with annoying people. He's he's getting angry and angry in recent weeks mm. at just at things in life. Yeah, yeah. No, I can see that. But, I can uh, see that. Um, I mean, I don't mind. I I just I perf. I prefer just being by myself a lot of times. So, like, yeah. I, I and I do like being social, and I like having, you know, being at, like, a big trestle table and just kind of, like, shooting the shit and everyone's, like, passing dishes and stuff. I like that, too. But with a table of really annoying people, I don't know. Like, it's just going to – I'm just going to get angry, and it's really nobody's fault because they're just annoying and they don't fucking know any better. What's the um, eating culture like in America in terms of people eating on their own? Are they, are they seen as being losers? Like if you go into a restaurant and someone's sat on their own, mm-hmm. is it is it frowned upon as much? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. No, I mean, eating is such a solitary thing in itself, right? You know, I mean, hmm. I do like the culture of, like I said, just um, everybody kind of getting together and sharing plates and stuff like that. I do like that. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously you see a lot more of that uh, where there's a bigger concentration of restaurants around here. Um, yeah. So, like, the place that I went to get my Italian beef sandwich from, which was fucking delicious, by the way. Is it the uh, same place you took me to? <clears throat> no, it's actually a different place. Another okay. amazing place. <laughs> <laughs> a better place. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you, I don't think you're going to see as many people kind of sitting around and shooting the shit at a place like a hot dog stand kind of place mm-hmm. unless it's like you know fucking two o'clock in the morning after the pubs close and shit which is very common over here although we have um kebab shops for that rather than hot dog stands <sighs> sounds so good <laughs> no it's bad it's dirty man like i don't know what I, I know like in in north america you get you get a uh, shawarma you get donna that kind of thing mm-hmm. but i don't think I don't think you, you'd ever be quite prepared for what what UK Donna meat is. It's, <laughs> it's sliced, spiced rubber, or even or even just the atmosphere in a in a kebab shop. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, if you ever make it out to this this uh, side of the pond, then uh, I think that's definitely a food stop. Is a two two a.m. visit to a kebab shop near? The yeah, I would have to nightclub yeah. or something. I like street food um, a lot. I'm a, I'm a big fan of street food. It ends up on the street <laughs> <laughs> in a variety of different ways, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a fucking mess. It's a fucking mess. Um, right. Well, I was hoping MJ would be actually with us by now, but he's not because he's a cunt. Yeah, um, sounds right. So we're gonna have to mix up the order of the show a little bit. Stuart, Nathan Peterson, how do you feel about a, a very early sweeter or savourier? Yes. I feel really, really good about that. I feel really good. I've yeah. been waiting. For, I'm waiting for this to be bumped up the uh, bumped up the schedule because, let's be honest, it's the pearl in the oyster, and I think it's about time it was recognised as such. The only trouble with that is that you're now giving nobody an incentive to listen after this. Well, that's okay. Michael Jamison will turn up soon, so they'll all tune out anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge Very fan true. of this this game and the. Oh, it's a. F- it's an amazing game. Whoever invented this game is probably a genius. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, double that for the uh, intro song, too. So. Oh, what a tune. Let's play it. It's time to play a game. Let's play a game. Let's call it Sweeter or Seven. We'll pull the name of a food stuff out of a hat. And tell us what you can think about that. Or will the next food stuff be Sweeter or Seven? Alex and Sarah yes, sir. of Chicago, Illinois. That's right. Hometown of the Blues Brothers. Mm-hmm. Hometown of the Bears. Mm-hmm. William the Refrigerator Perry. <laughs> yep. Walter Sweet Feet Peyton. <laughs> It's my 1980s uh, American football references. <laughs> Are you ready to play Sweeter or Savourier? I'm ready. Good. The first food out of the hat 
is mayonnaise. Do you think the next food out of the Northern Flat Cap, which does not have the same cultural resonance to you as it does to everybody else, will it be sweeter or say, do you have flat caps in America? Do you know? I'm asking you if you wear, if you have flat caps in America. Do you know what a flat cap is? Yeah, I know the flat. I got plenty of them. You, you are literally wearing one on your Skype pictures. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm a hat collector, so uh, I have like six flat caps. It's the best <laughs> style of hat, Nathan Peterson. Uh, will I, the next? I, excuse me, I've I've owned at least three in my lifetime. So fuck you have you. no, you have no right. <laughs> You southern what? bastard. <laughs> All right. Will the next food stuff be sweeter or savourier than mayonnaise? I mean, we're... Damn, Weird we're, food. Yeah, we're starting out pretty pretty flat here. Um, I Why think not? it's going to be savourier. Savourier. Mm-hmm. Alex and Sarah, the next food out of the Northern Flat Cap is a cheeseburger. Oh, Nice. You, you, you've done well there. Yes. I would say, yeah. I mean, that's that's definitely savourier than a, than a, than mayonnaise. Uh, which mm-hmm. way are you going? <clears throat> I think the smart play is sweeter. The smart play is sweeter. The next food out of the flat cap. Uh, this is a branded food. It's the Maryland Original Cookie, which is the most controversial <laughs> food review UK sweeter or savoury of food ever. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you have Maryland as a brand in the US? I don't think so. It's just a, like a shit store bought, mass produced, hard cookie. Okay. So like a like a chips ahoy basic, I imagine. Gotcha. It's definitely have, sweeter than a cheeseburger, though. Yeah, it is. Have you? Have you heard the episode where Maryland Cookie does cause controversy? It doesn't ring a bell. Okay. Oh, oh, it was bad. Don't listen. No. <laughs> <laughs> it still rings true today. We're still getting arguments over it. <laughs> uh, you're on three. I've no. Do you know what? I've got no idea where the leaderboard is what the current standings are on the leaderboard because it's been so long since we've done one. So, I'm um, um, executive decision, mm-hmm. new 2018 leaderboard. So, yeah. wh- whatever happens, you're going top. All right. I like this. <laughs> Sweeter or savourier than a Maryland original cookie? <clears throat> well, this kind of almost takes us... If, if this was controversy in uh, the old 2017 year, then I feel like this is very similar to a Manny's then. Huh? Uh, okay. No, it's not. We're, the issue was that we had a sugar-free gum, oh. which we, we uh, which caused all kinds of problems because it doesn't have any sugar in, and then people were saying, "Well, is it sweet? Is it not sweet?" Right. But it wasn't oh, just okay. a normal sugar-free gum; it was a menthol. You know, like an airwaves menthol gum. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So, bit of a red herring to say that the Maryland's controversial. It's more the fucking idiots that were on the podcast that are controversial. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, noted. All right, and I'll just go fuck myself right now then. Um, <laughs> saying all that, I think the next one is going to be sweeter. The Ooh. next food out of the Northern Flat Cap is... Hang on, hang on. Sweeter what? than what was it? Maryland cookie. Sweeter than a Maryland cookie. I mean, there are things in this hat that are sweeter. <laughs> there are things that are in this hat that are sweeter, <sighs> without Fortune a doubt. Favors the, Fortune favors the brave. Yeah, right. there's a half-court shot right here. Mm. Um, do you know what? I mean, it's it's a close call. It's hoisting sauce. It's not a oh. close call. <laughs> oh Jesus! It's not a close call at that all. Was... It's salty as. I mean, it is. It's got a lot of sugar. It's in kind it. of sweet, yeah. It's, but it's, it's salty as. There's no way you. Yeah. No, you, you, no, that is not no. sweeter. It is, you're correct. It's not. If only you'd been correct thirty seconds earlier. Ah, God damn it! Um, <laughs> hoisting sauce. Four, Alex. Four. Our first international guest. Mm. And. Mm. Mm. I think in 2017, four would have been a fairly pathetic score. <laughs> let's see. Let's see where it stands at the end of 2018. Um, I reckon I'm fairly confident it'll still be fairly pathetic. But well, no, well done, though. No, well done. Thanks. I mean, we still. I was hoping you'd draw the game out a little bit longer because we're still waiting for MJ. But you know, you know, you play it as you see it, mate. You're the professional. You've been doing this for a lot longer than us. Yeah, and saying all that, why don't we just go back and edit it and act like I didn't fucking pick the wrong one? 
<laughs> Could we, yeah, can, Stuart, can we edit in you, you picking out the um, the menthol airwaves and us basically giving the complete opposite um, verdict that we did last time just to piss off MJ and Rich? Oh, as much as I'd love to piss off MJ and Rich, I reckon I've got enough editing to do without that. <laughs> Um, what do you want to do next, Stuart? Because should we go? For, should we go for? Uh, should we go for a spot of Quivia, Nathan? Yeah, let's oh, go for Quivia. Why not? Quivia. We don't need MJ for that. We don't need MJ for anything, really. No. We thing just about... need the name of Fruck, basically. <laughs> thing about thing about this episode's Quivia is it's going to be a bit different, Alex, because it's I'm doing the Quivia this time. Oh, okay. Not Nathan Peterson, which means it won't be as good. But Nathan gets to guess. It's my little, uh, it's my little welcome back to 2018. Welcome back from holiday. Little treat to Nathan. Now, do you know what? I've just realised, Nathan, we have not even uh, told people what the theme of this podcast is. This this episode. Well, I did briefly in a very awkward segue, but yeah, it, tonight's show is going to be. Um, it's loosely t- entitled Death Row. Um, and rather than us necessarily discussing what people on death row would eat, we've we've basically come up with a list of what we would have um, uh, if we were on death row ourselves. What we would have as our as our final meal. Correct. M- Mr. Stuart Bullock has come up with a quivia based around that, and I'll let him uh, lead from here. Okay. Now my quivia is very much based around um, real death row. So I've got five questions for you, uh, and we're going to see how we get on. Alex versus Nathaniel John James Jr. Sr. Peterson. Okay. In Oklahoma, on death row, a monetary limit has been allowed for uh, death row inmates for their final meal. What is that monetary limit in American dollars, Mm. in the US dollar? What is that limit? What do you reckon? And I'm going to go first to Mr. Alex Ansira. All right. Uh, Okay. What's the cap? Let's see. What's the flat cap of this? (laughs) And no Alta Vistaing, right? No Lacos, Alta Vista, Ask Jeeves, and certainly no Bing. Look at Alex dropping some knowledge, showing that he listens to the show. (laughs) Show off. Pay attention, David Goss. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's under an hour, so he should be by this point. Um, Sorry, I live in a very loud neighborhood, so... Someone, uh... (laughs) Someone's coming to death row. (laughs) Yeah, someone's getting their order right now. Um, I'm gonna get... The first number that popped in my head... I'm just going to give it out there. I, there's no basis for it whatsoever, which is uh, how I like to answer things. And that's 35 American dollars. 35 of your American dollars. Nathan Peterson, what are you, what are you saying, lad? Oh, see, now I feel that's quite high. I, I know that it's 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 a touching moment to give a prisoner their last meal. It's, it's, a, it's a nice thing to do, considering you're about to snuff out their lights, but... I feel like thirty-five dollars is still generous for you know somebody who is about to die. So I was actually going to go quite low. I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go seventeen dollars and forty-seven cents. Jesus! Oh, the forty-seven is important. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, building the tension. I mean that that sound was worth the small lie, wasn't it? Um. Alex, thirty-five dollars. Nathan, seventeen forty-seven. Nathan, you've got it. Not, not like got it. Like bang on. Uh, it's, fi- it's fifteen dollars. Oh shit! It doesn't seem a lot. And I mean, I know America's cheap. And I'm, I'm saying that not as an insult. <laughs> like, Affordable, what a cheap nation. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but still, fifteen dollars. That's not getting you. It's not getting you a prime kind of steak meal, is it? But anyway, yeah, Probably fifteen dollars. Florida, $40. So, you know, if you're going to commit a mass murder, Florida's probably the place to do it. Um, I, I can tell you this much. $15 will not get my death row meal. No. I don't, I don't, oh, no. I don't, I don't get anywhere near mine. <laughs> no, that'd um, be like cab fare for me. <laughs> for the, uh, just to get my last meal. 
I don't think that's how it works, Alex. Okay. I don't think they'll let you out to go and get him, mate. <sighs> <No>. <laughs> um, the state of Texas, bizarrely, in 2011, completely abolished the special last meal requests because of um, a, a white supremacist mass murderer who ordered something ridiculous and then didn't eat it. Um, so my second question for you is... Lawrence Russell Brewer, who was that white supremacist mass murderer, mm-hmm. since his execution on September the 21st, 2011, how many inmates have been executed in the state of Texas? <laughs> I've got, mate, I told you I was just going grisly. <laughs> oh, I was just laughing. It's, it's nice to have a conversation about white supremacists on this channel with um, without it being revolved around MJ. Um... <laughs> Who? <laughs> that's obviously a joke. Uh, who, who are you asking first? I'm asking. Uh, I'm asking Alex again. All right. Now, how many inmates have been <laughs> executed? Executed since mm-hmm. since now. This is this is correct as of the first of February two thousand and eighteen. Um, if there's been anyone executed since that date in the last couple of weeks, I apologise to them. But the, my, my research, my research goes up to that date. So since September the first, September the twenty first, two thousand and eleven, until February first. Okay. Wow. Texas is fucking crazy. Yeah, they love it. They absolutely mm-hmm. love it. They're just chucking lethal injections out like nobody's business. Yeah. Hi, Lance. Um. Yeah, Lance is fucking crazy too. Mm. I feel like. <laughs> My like half of my family's from Texas. My dad's from Texas. My old dad's side of the family's from Texas, and it's something. Um, I feel like it's gonna be. Hmm. I'm gonna go twenty six hundred. Boom, Peterson. What you saying, lad? So we're talking six and a half years. Yeah. I'm going to go for 1,747. And a half. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, you're both so far off, it's painful. But, um, Alex, you've got a really poor opinion of the state of Texas. It's 73 people. Oh, holy really? shit. 73 in six and a half years. 73 people. I was I thinking mean, about the amount of people I want Alex, to have two and a half. been killed. That's <laughs> what I was thinking of. My bad. Um, ha- like half marks for the next question, which because Nate's two nil up, mm. half marks. This isn't an actual question. How many of those seventy three do you reckon were women? Are we both answering this? Go, go on, Nate. You have first dibs. Seventy three people killed. How many were women? I'm this gonna is go. So in. grisly. Now, now that you're repeating the question, back to me, I feel like, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, shout out to anybody who's uh, tuned in hoping to hear a jolly uh, show about food um, I think it's going to be something quite low I think it's, uh, I'm going to go for four. Oh, four. Alex on Sarah higher or lower than four for it's lower mark. it's lower correct it's three yeah Yes, you got half a mark. You're on the board, Alex. All right, good. Okay, question, quivier question number three. What is, according to my research, the most common last meal item? Ooh. Item. So not necessarily the main thing. No, but an item. An item. I'm going to go to uh, Nathan Peterson. Pasta. (laughs) Alex? (laughs) Um, <laughs> that just sounded so. It, it sounded like you just randomly yelled pasta. 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 Uh, um, I've got pastorettes. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's see. Well, the, that's the people who were asking for a, a religious man to give them the last rites, and it was misunderstood, and they were delivered a disappointing last meal as a consequence. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Good. I, I'm glad you do, Nathan. It's not helping me think. <laughs> um, okay. Do more of it. I, yeah. <laughs> Last item. Okay. Um, cornbread. Cornbread. I have to tell you that the scores stay the same because neither of you got it right. It's fried chicken. Ah! Oh, fucking yeah. goddamn it. 
I, I even thought chicken in my head first of all. And I thought the fried chicken saying, also. You you kept saying item, right? So I, I thought that threw me off. Is, is chicken not an item? It is, but the way you kept saying item was that it was it was. Oh, I don't know. I can't because pasta's a food as well. I can't. <laughs> They're all. I, I can't argue against this. It just it threw it's me a food away. Podcast, from, mate. Continuing then on the uh, on the on the fried chicken theme, I've got to tell you, man, my it's notes. Terrible. Right, I'm just going to read you the the first line of my notes that I wrote here. Uh, Ricky Ray Rector, State of Arkansas, murder. There we go. Just I don't know why I put that in there, <laughs> but that's what he was. That's what he was down for. Ricky Ray Rector from the State of Arkansas, murderer. Also, amazing ordered name. steak. Of course, he ordered fried chicken to go with his steak, mm-hmm. and he ordered. A little spot of cherry Kool-Aid to wash it all down. But the dessert that he ordered, he left. Classic comedy from Ricky Ray Rector, State of Arkansas murderer. <laughs> he told the guard that he was saving the dessert for later. What was the dessert? <laughs> a right. So you're saying it's comedy. Why was he saving oh. it for later? Was it a noun later? No. I don't know. How was, <laughs> he, be- how was he being executed? Um, I got in most places, um, lethal injection it now. Yeah. Okay, so mm-hmm. that probably wouldn't affect it. Ice cream. Ice cream? Alex, what are you going for? I'm kind of thinking it's, it's like a tongue-in-cheek thing. Um, I had not like, like... A, a Twinkie. Let's just go with Twinkie. Twinkie. Unfortunately, so Nathan's gone ice cream. Alex, you've gone Twinkie. It was pecan pie. Oh. There yeah. was no pun intended. I was just, it was just a great, I thought, the classic bounce from the guard there. And I'm not going to eat that. I'm going to save it till after I'm dead. Oh. Um, that, that's, you've, you've thrown me off the scent there. You, you've ruined that. I would have said pecan pie. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's actually you. two questions in a row that he's thrown us off. I'll give you yeah. the point then, Nathan. I'll give you the point if you'd oh, said you would have. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, final KFC uh, fried chicken. So, um, I mean, have you got a? Fa- I mean, I've got a favourite murderer. Mine's, mine's John Wayne Gacy. Uh, um, his final meal consisted of fried shrimp, French fries, and a whole bucket of original recipe KFC. However, the KFC was somewhat. Uh, foreshadowed because in 1964 Gacy's father-in-law purchased a number of KFC locations where Gacy was appointed as the manager how many KFC locations did John Wayne Gacy's father-in-law purchase <laughs> in 1964 Whoa, I, I didn't think it was going there Okay. oh deep pull man <laughs> very death row I, I like the tangent that 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 was a story in itself. <laughs> I should take anecdote. You listening, yeah. Michael Jameson? Of course you're not. So how many did he buy? Also, you asked. You did ask the question. Um, do we have a favourite murder? I, I I didn't know if you wanted an answer on that or not. Oh well, yeah, go and put it in there for a uh... Doctor Harold Shipman. Oh my! my I mean, he's my local serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I literally know people who. Have, whose relatives were the victims of Dr. Harold Shipman. So. Oh, that's unfortunate of me to bring yeah. him up. And spe- okay. Speaking of local serial killers, John Wayne Gacy is a local serial killer. Is he your boy? Yeah, he's, um, he's a Ch- Chicago land area. Not uh, Chicago yeah. proper, but also knew somebody who lived across the street from him. But when, he was, when he was out, not like in jail. <laughs> <laughs> like he, the next cell over, no. Just literally, I mean, he's Gacy's top drawer, isn't he? I mean, I can't imagine that uh, as uh, I can't imagine that Shipman particularly has, has crossed the Atlantic as he t- into. I, the... I haven't heard the name. No, he was a bastard. But he yeah, a, he, he he killed like hundreds, didn't he? Yeah, he killed quite a lot of people. But he didn't dress up as a clown, did he? So you know, <laughs> British serial killers, you need to up your game if you want some transatlantic fame. Just right. just uh, just minor information for you, uh, Alex. He was he was a doctor who was basically euthanizing his patients. Oh, when? How so, long ago was this? Oh, no, 90s? twenty. Yeah, yeah, fairly recently. Oh, he's like the um, OG Kevorkian. Uh, yeah. No, after Kevorkian. Oh, I thought you said the nineteen twenties. 
No, no, 1990s. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, like recent times. Mm. Monster. Yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, KFC. <laughs> yeah. KFC How yeah. many KFC locations did John Wayne Gacy's his father-in-law buy for him? Uh, I'll let Alex go first. That's kind. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's do, I, I think, three. Is that what you think? Yep. Peterson? See, I could just do the thing and go, like, four, but do it, I'm going okay. to give it a, a serious guess. I'm going to go seven. No, mate, go four. I'll go seven. Okay. Wouldn't have mattered anyway, because uh, Alex smashed it, didn't he? Three, so. Boom! There you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, so what was the final score, then? Did Alex that, pull it out with us? No, he didn't. No, you uh, you still beat Alex. God damn it. Two and a half. Two to one and a half. Oh. Ah. Very, very close indeed. God. Um, Damn it. Excellent. Lovely bit of quibia. Thank you very much, Stuart. <laughs> You're never going to ask me to produce the quibia again, no. are you? I love that. <laughs> I, 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 I'm intrigued to see how well that goes down with the listeners. Um, <laughs> but certainly as a player, I loved that. And, um, uh. and speaking of serial killers, mm-hmm. MJ's nearly ready. Is he? What? He is, yeah. This is the first time you spoke to MJ directly as well, isn't it? I believe so. My condolences. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. You'll never forget it. What are you drinking, Stuart? Uh, at the moment, I've just cracked a chocolate stout by Vocation Brewery, who are uh, kind of a, a Yorkshire craft brewery. Wee! <laughs> hey, there he is. Hello. Michael Jameson, what's going on? How are you, man? Doing well, sir. Good to hear you. Likewise. See, MJ sounds nice. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh, has this been just an hour of Slate and me? Oh, Scott? yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. It depends on how much gets edited out by Stuart. Yeah, there's a little off air, too. So This is a new experience for us to have somebody join mid-show. Yeah, I just wanted to be like, you know, like those cool people that show up to parties late? I mean, I don't because I never get invited to parties, but... <laughs> <laughs> You've usually left the party before they get there. That's it, mate. I'm the party founder, not the party attender. <laughs> you just set up parties and leave? That's it, yeah. yeah. Other guy who turns the music on. Apparently Eddie Murphy does that. Like, he, he, throws mass, he throws massive parties in his house and just stays in his room and comes out and waves to everyone and then goes back in. It's like a thing. Eddie Murphy does it. Well, there you go. No, straight up, I heard about it at some... I can't remember how, but yeah, I definitely heard about it. That sounds like his latest film or something. That sounds like no. the shitty film that he would make nowadays. Straight up. Where, where was I listening to this about Eddie Murphy throwing parties? Was it not even on the bin? It might have been a binge cast, you know. No, I don't remember anything that happens on that show. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Is the, film, is the film called Let's Get the Party Started? Starring Eddie Murphy. Because <laughs> that's, that's what he basically... Alex, there's also a second thing that MJ does, um, <laughs> which is terrible jokes. I hadn't noticed. We leave, we leave those in. Um, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we get on to sort of the, the, the big things that we've got saved, um, something that I haven't brought up. Has anyone got any food news? Any any new products or anything? Anybody that's spotted lately? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, literally, uh, yesterday it was announced, um, this is beer news, obviously, Cloudwater, Manchester Brewery, second best, second best brewery in the world, voted for this year. It's their third birthday, as we record tomorrow, Valentine's Day, and they've released their, uh, every year on their birthday, they release a, a birthday double IPA that gets Ooh. released tomorrow. Hopefully, should be delivered to me tomorrow because um, I pre-ordered it and I can't oh, wait. Just sick. epic beer. Can't wait. Top of the hops. If you want, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Sweet. Make that happen. And do anything? Um, not really. There's the, obviously the Grand Big Mac's come out in the UK, which is pretty big news. <laughs> um, been hugely popular. Who was that fellow that did the review? The little guy with the glasses? I don't know. Some little fellow who just sent me the submitted the video. I was like, it's better than the normal shit I put True. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. And Sparrow introducing a new zero sugar cola. That's about it. 
Mm. Have you has the Grand Big Mac hit America, Alex? The Grand Big Mac? Yeah, so it's just I, a Big Mac, but bigger. Oh, good one. Um, I have no idea. I have no I idea. Didn't fucking name it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no I, clue. I, I, I think you got it last year, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> hey, I, we just got it last year, Nate. Mm. <laughs> I think I asked Alex the question, but no worries. Mm. It's just a Big Mac that costs a thousand dollars. That's all it is. <laughs> That's a steal at any price. <laughs> Cool, cool. So, food news is fairly, apart from the beer, is is fairly quiet at the moment. It's been a while since we've had anything big um, worthwhile us talking about, isn't it? Yeah, it's not massive news so much. There is a lot of good products this year, though. There's there's some there's some good stuff coming out. Okay. Cool. Well, we will bring you those on future shows, I'm sure. Um. Any regular listeners to the show will know we love a game on Fruck Unwrapped, and tonight is no different. We've already played Quivia. In honour of our guest, however, we have something a little special planned. Alex, Mm -hmm. how do you feel about playing the Garrett Collins food review game? (laughs) What? (laughs) What is this? (laughs) Um... (laughs) We've basically stolen a binge idea, adapted it to Fruck Unwrapped, and okay. we want to know whether you want to try and guess what Mr. Collins would give uh, for certain foods. <laughs> yes, I would love to. <laughs> Excellent. Um, now, for those who are unaware, uh, Garrett is a mutual friend of ours. He's one of the hosts on uh, Binge Media, and while he loves films, it's probably fair to say... Uh, his views don't always agree to the popular uh, consensus. A game was therefore devised on Binge to guess what his score would be for a variety of films. We've basically stolen the idea for Frank and given him seven different foods and drinks to review. <coughs> the aim of the game is to give the correct score. You get a point for each number you are away from the correct rating and zero points if you if you get it dead on. Um, so the winner is the person with the lowest score overall. For example... If so it's, like, it's like QI. Correct. It's like QI. Yes, I guess yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, See, I get so... it. I should just explain this. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to play Jonathan Creek, okay. um, and then we're going to get loads of intelligent people on, so sort of not me, more people like Nate and Stuart. And, um, sorry, carry on, Nate. <laughs> um, so, for those listening, um, if, if Garrett were to give something a seven... If Alex were to guess eight and MJ were to guess nine, Alex gets one. MJ gets two. Alex is winning because he's got a lower score. Simple as. Um, There is an extra little layer to this. Garrett is notorious for giving films a four on ten. If any of the players correctly guess which food or foods or drinks that Garrett gives a four on ten, they'll get minus four points, which is a, a hefty bonus in this game. Ooh. I think that's explained everything. Right. So, are you boys ready to play the Garrett Collins food review game? Yes. Yes. Sounds set. Stuart, would you like to press play on seven food items that Mr. Peterson gave me to review? Hope you guys have fun with this little ditty of a game. Sounds fun. Thanks for the invite, by the way, guys. (laughs) Number one. Coca-Cola. So that, number one, is Coca-Cola. Uh, I'm going to start with our guest, Alex. What mm-hmm. do you think Garrett would have given Coca-Cola? <laughs> Out of ten, he's not stuck to the Fruck rating system. Right. Um, <laughs> classic Coke, right? Classic Coca-Cola. I would assume so. He yeah. doesn't, he doesn't specify can. anything to die. Okay. Red can Coca-Cola. Red can Coke. All right. Um, now, I know Garrett has, I think he stopped drinking soda. Uh, that doesn't mean he still doesn't love it, though. Okay, I think I got this now. <laughs> I think he gives Coca-Cola, I think he's more, I think he's more of a Pepsi guy, if anything. So, I think he gives Coke 5 on 10. Ooh, five on ten. Uh, MJ sings. You're new to the show. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, 
I'm going to say it's close, actually. I'm going to say six on ten. Six on ten. Thank you for going with the on ten. Uh, Stuart? Um, I will shadow Alex um, until I've heard a bit more and got a bit more of a an idea about Garrett's food and drink taste, and I will go for another five out of ten. Okay. Uh, play it. Could, uh, just before you play it, could you guys hear him okay? It sounded like he recorded it on a potato, but yeah, other than that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think he did record it on a potato. <laughs> you know, as much as I used to love it in the powdery form, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the soda. Um, especially since it's owned by Mormons. Uh, this I've always been more of a Pepsi guy. Boom. Oh. Does nothing for me. Coca Cola is an easy four on ten. Oh, oh, a GC oh, on oh. ten. GC on ten. Is that how he ends? Uh, yeah, doesn't say any more to see. Get that out of the way. That's all he says. Yeah. Okay. Um, so four on ten. So we had a five and sixes there. So Alex and Stuart with one. Uh, MJ yeah. trailing with two. Well, sort of, sort, sort, sort of winning because I've got the most points. <laughs> but also very much losing Stuart please play number two Snickers oh Ooh, so Snickers Snickers uh, now with this we normally go with the lowest scoring people so um, Alex went first last time so let's give it to Stuart first this time alright I mean come on right if he if he if he garrets this right if he if he garrets this <laughs> I'm going to be so annoyed with him. Um, it's a nine. It's a nine out of ten, isn't it? Nine out of ten. Yeah. Well, it's a nine for you. Is it? What is it for Garrett? Nine, surely. Okay. Uh, Alex. <sighs> okay. I love Snickers. It could be my favorite candy bar. Correct. Um, and I think Garrett likes them too, but not his favorite candy bar. I think he gives it a seven on ten. Ooh. Yeah, I so, mean, it it would be absolutely psychotic to say anything other than nine out of ten, really. So you're going nine? Nine. Whilst also calling Alex a psychopath. So <laughs> the second time in the show already. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. To guess that someone would give it a seven is fine. Oh, what would you, oh, Alex, what would if you anybody... rate it yourself? Oh, right, got it, got it. Stuart. Snickers. You know, every time I have a Snickers, I always think to myself, man, pack the peanut Snickers really satisfies, doesn't it? <laughs> what a fucking I God. I have that at 6 in the morning, and I don't need another meal for the rest of the day. I, that, whole, that candy bar just, it's, just fills me up. Uh, uh, I am a fan of Snickers. Love the candy bar. Probably my favorite. Probably be next to Milky Way. Oh. As far as candy bars go. So... But I would give Snickers eight out of ten. Ooh, eight Ooh. out of ten as well. Correct, Garrett. Not eight <laughs> on ten. Eight out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even play his own game right. This fucking guy. <laughs> um, so you're all one off there, which just keeps you in the same position. So that's two points for Alex and Stuart. Three for MJ. It's his favourite candy bar, and he only gives it eight. What? <laughs> oh, <come> on. <laughs> I told you, Stuart, he does not disappoint. Madness. Can you please press play? Number three, Jack Daniels. Boom. Boom. Jack, Jack Valley Daniels. <laughs> um, Stuart went last time, so we'll go, go for Alex. Jack Daniels. Um, <clears throat> Garrett likes really fruity drinks. <laughs> He, he, yeah, he's the founder of the Purple Paradise. He now, when I've seen him drink whiskey or bourbon, he puts, uh, he cuts it with Pepsi or Coke, which is a goddamn fucking sin. And when he does, he's been drinking Woodford. And Jack Daniels, I feel like he's gonna be like Jack Daniels. Used to drink it all the time. Huge drink. Huge drink. Bang so many girls. Blah blah blah. Drinking in college, you know, it's humble bragging. Um, but he can't drink it now. Doesn't like it now. 
So I think he gives it a six on ten. Okay, six on ten. Stuart. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, with Alex saying that he likes Woodford, Woodford's a drier bourbon than JD, which isn't a bourbon, but JD's pretty sweet. Mm. Um, and if you're mixing it with Coke and stuff anyway, it is, it's JD and Coke is a taste all by itself, you know? So he's probably, I'm saying he's probably rating it as, as the type of thing that he mixes with other things. Um, I, I've got, I make you about right for a six, you know, but I'm going to go seven just, just to make the game fun. Mm. Okay. Or, or, or a, a Moreno on 10 as it sometimes not. Oh, nice. <laughs> Stuart dropping some binge knowledge. MJ? Uh, my motto has always been go hard or go home. Uh, anyone who I knows you're me. just going to stop there. Yeah. <laughs> my motto's always been go hard. <laughs> Silent. Always go hard, never go floppy. Um, mm. No, never go home. Never go home. Always go hard. Uh, you get a few different types of people in this world. You've got the people who like Jack Daniels. Um, you've got the people who sort of look down on Jack Daniels and like, oh, it's a mass-produced whiskey. I, I'm i judgmental towards it. Um, and I, I can imagine that Garrett is that kind of person. I'm going to say four on ten. A, a GC on ten, surely. <laughs> Amazing. Stuart, please press pray. They think of beer. No, wait, that's my ledger. Jack Daniels. Fantastic with Coke, as a matter of fact. <laughs> The only time Coke is actually really good is with Jack Daniels. Um, not a big Jack Daniels guy anymore. It's still rather tasty. I do drink the honey stuff every once in a while. Uh, but I'm more of a Woodford guy. Jack Daniels, still a pretty decent whiskey. I would give Jack Daniels a six. Oh! Okay. Oh! Did Garrett, hang on, has Garrett messaged you, Alex, and told him what the scores are going to be? No, I yeah, blocked him. Is... He, can't, he uh... can't get in contact with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Do you read his diary? <laughs> <laughs> so hard to predict on movies, yet so easy to predict on food. Yeah. Um, and he brings up the Jack Daniels honey. Have you guys tried that? Yeah. Sweet. Lovely. Yeah, I love it. You know, I, I use uh, Jim Beam honey to marinate chicken. Yeah. That's pretty fucking good. Uh, fan of um, Red Stag myself. Too Let's artificial say, yeah. tasting. So are you. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart, please, please, play. Reese's Pieces. Uh. Reese's of the Pieces. Um, Alex is winning, so Alex, please. Oh, I fucking love me some Reese's Pieces. I know yeah. you do. Um, let's see. No, no, you can't say it after they've said it. You can't say <laughs> I, I know you do. It's only impressive if you say it before. <laughs> it's a bit of a point there. I know. I know it is. <laughs> Clever. Um, yeah, I think. I think. You. I think Garrett loves. Him some Reese's pieces, and I think he gives it a nine on ten. Is it me uh, now? It's yes, Stuart now. See, I don't. I, I mean, I, I think Reese's pieces are the worst Reese's product because they're not chocolatey. It's, I would they, agree. They, yeah, that's they don't. True, yeah. they mm -hmm. don't give you the kind of whole Reese's experience that you get with the the nut nut bar and nut tray, just no, whatever it was, or the or the, yeah. or the cup, yeah. Um, uh, but if Alex is saying he gives it a 9 on 10 I'm going to go for an 8 on 10 8 out of 10 8 on 10 <laughs> MJ <laughs> uh, so I could go 7 on 10 or 7 out of 10 on. as a sort of continuing the trend sort of sort of, sort of of technique sort of strategy you could. Um, but I have to you're going to go 9 aren't you yeah I'm going to go 9 I have to put my faith in the piece <laughs> Okay, you have to put your faith in the piece. I mean, Stuart, I think that's the title of the show. Uh, give peace a chance. No, oh. you, you see, you've ruined it there. Just give give Reese no, a chance. No, you, Stuart, please press play. <laughs>
E.T.'s favorite candy. Reese's are freaking amazing. I love Reese's. Can I say fucking on for Reese's? I think I can. Correct. Right, I'll go ahead and say it. Reese's are fucking amazing. E.T. may have gotten me hooked, but I've remained hooked all these years. These are just fantastic candies. I would give Reese's pieces. Nine out of ten. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> thing is, he was that complimentary about him, and it's still not a ten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, it's amazing. It's star. Ridiculous. Well, there you go. So, scores after four. Two for Alex, who has got zero points on the last two. Amazing, amazing turnaround. <laughs> MJ with five and Stuart with four. Ah, in your face, Jameson. Wow. <laughs> Stuart, you know what to do. Bacon. Ah, bacon? So that, that is bacon. bacon. Oh, Alex, please tell me, what does Garrett think about <clears throat> bacon? Well, I think... Uh, is it? Is there anybody online now... And not just online in general. I just the four of us. That was stupid. Um, who doesn't like bacon? Vegetarians. My wife. Yeah. She's not online. No, she's not. But we all like Connect. bacon, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, it's obviously a ten. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. But it's Garrett. <laughs> oh, it's Garrett though. <laughs> the best counter argument in history. But it's Garrett. Yeah. It's Garrett. I I don't think he eats it as much anymore because he's being a little bit more health conscious. And I, but is he, there anything that he does still eat? <laughs> this is a family show. I was told, so I can't answer it in the way I really want to. You are misinformed, my friend. <laughs> um, yeah, he gives this. He he gives bacon a eight on ten. Eight on ten. It's not as good as a Reese's Pieces. <laughs> but <it's... laughs> oh, man. Stuart. It's a ten. I mean, surely even Garrett. Come on. Grow up. Come on. You're going, you're going for a ten, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Big time. Okay. Mr. Michael Jameson. My motto, people who know me will know, my, my motto has always been... Go home hard. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's always been follow... The correct gold, uh, and Alex is <laughs> the, the correct, correct gold in this instance. Gold. The correct uh, gold. Uh, eight, yeah, eight, eight on ten. Okay, Stuart. Ah, big bacon guy. What? Uh, <laughs> hit, it on, hit it on my hamburger. Go, my. I always take sausage rather than bacon on the side when I make <laughs> breakfast. Uh, uh bacon just. Oh. Uh, not a big bacon guy. I don't give bacon. Bacon's a. It's tasty if you're in a pinch. If you're like down to like your last bit of meat and it's bacon. <laughs> oh I'll give bacon a 5 out of 10. Oh my lord! Garrett Collins! You absolute idiot! What? Oh! <laughs> I'm I'm closing the channel. I'm oh, guys, I apologize. I will, I'm I will firing sausage. Garrett immediately. Oh, I, I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Classic you knew Garrett. This was hap- you knew this was going to happen, Nathan <laughs> Peterson. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh man. Whew. So for the record, those just as a recap. Um, Coca Cola, the most popular food, uh, sorry, drink in the world. Mm-hmm. Four out of ten. Yeah, n- not as good as bacon. Bacon, slightly better at five. Um, probably one of the most popular food products in the world. Stuart, please. Oh, uh, so, Garrett, um, what what do you think of amazing tasting, super tasty, flavoursome food? Oh, it's probably like a seven on ten. <laughs> Fine. Stuart, please. Do what you need to do. Big Mac. Whoa. So, we've mentioned it already on the show. Big Mac. Uh, I'm going Alex. last, so. <laughs> Alex is running away with this at the moment. <clears throat> um, Alex. Big Mac. <clears throat> Garrett's a West Coast guy, so I feel like he's more of like. 
a in and out, in and out or a Jack in the Box kind of guy instead of a McDonald's guy. Um, but much like but bacon don't. in a pinch, a Big Mac could be really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> Garrett actually said, "If bacon is the last thing in your fridge, then I guess it's fine." Bacon. He also said he'd prefer a sausage. Yeah, he would. <laughs> <laughs> sexual, sexual. Um, yeah, I, he gives a Big Mac a five on ten. Five on ten for the Big Mac. Uh, so, MJ, you've moved up into second place, you know. Wow. Um, I, I, I'm between two. I'm either four on ten because them bonus points are just tempting, and you know what I'm like, like a little jewel. I see a little jewel, I'm like, ooh, jewels. Um, <laughs> Is that uh, one of your mottos? Yes, one of my mottos, yeah. Um, jewels, ooh. But will it be a six? Hmm, <clears throat> possible. Uh, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to say four on ten. Four on ten. And, well, I um... was going to do that. I was going to say four on ten. Still can. I will then. <laughs> four on ten. Four on ten. <laughs> Boys. Chris the player says, love Big Mac. Good one. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, Big Macs were big when I was a kid. Loved eating those things as a kid. They're even bigger now. It costs $1,000. I don't think it costs much more. If I do go, it's a quarter pounder for me. Or two cheeseburgers, one of those two. Big Mac. I haven't had Big Mac in probably at least 10 years. Uh, so, that being said, I would give Big Mac. Big Macs get a 5 out of 10. Yes! God, this guy is like superhuman, Alec. Oh. Correct gold. Correct gold. Correct gold. <laughs> Alex corrects gold and Sierra. Right, so we're on to the final product. Uh, the scores currently are Alex with five, MJ with nine, Stuart with ten. Brilliant. Uh, one product left. Essentially, Alex has probably won this unless something crazy happens with the final food. Here we go. Red Bull. That's Red Bull, the drink that gives you wings. Oh. Alex. <clears throat> Red Bull. He, um, Garrett, Garrett loves Red Bull now because he doesn't do any of the powdery Coca-Cola classic. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still in that same realm for him. Loves it. But it's Garrett Collins, so he gives it a 7 on 10. MJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yada, 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 I remember I remember listening to Jason you like you like this Nathan Peterson. I was listening to Jason Muse and when he stopped doing all the white drugs, he um he started on the Red Bull and he and he bloody loved the Red Bull. But the thing about Red Bull is if you if you batter enough Red Bulls it makes you high as a kite, but it still tastes disgusting. So he's G C rating it as a drug or as a food. Mm. Now what I'm gonna <laughs> say is what I'm gonna say is that G- DC is going to smash this one and give it a 9 on 10. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> so, just so you know, regardless of what happens here, Correct. Alex oh. has won. Incorrect. There's physically no way for either of you to have beaten Alex now. M- moral, vic- moral victory if I hit the nail on the head, and the moral victory is the one that really counts. So It does, actually. You're right. Correct. Play AT. AT. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, Red Bull. Uh, I'm a rock star punch guy. Oh! But Red Bull, Red Bull's still pretty good. I, I drink a lot of it. Unbeknownst to my cardiologist, he hates the fact that I do. Uh, Red Bull, though, you as well as I do, it gets you it gets you right through the day. Do you love me some Red Bull? Red Bull goes easy 7 on 10. Yes! All right, <laughs> yes! Boy. God, Again, thanks for the invite. It's been fun. 
No, it hasn't. This has been a pain in the ass. All right. <laughs> Take care, guys. Later. Oh, my Lord. You should ask him um, about potatoes since he's fucking talking into one. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite food. You could slice them, you could fry them, you could also talk into them. <laughs> yes, clearly. Four on ten. Four on ten. So, for I mean, those. If you prefer Rockstar Punch, like if that's your favorite energy drink, why would you drink any Red Bull? Just drink loads of rock. Just drink the one you like, man. Oh. It might not be available when he goes to the store to buy it. Or, or since he bartends, they probably have Red Bull on the uh, soda mm. gun. Uh, that's really? What it is. Yeah. is that a thing in America? Yeah, yeah, I have it at my bar. Jesus. You guys are wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it any better from a can? Well, no, but at least you can't just squirt it straight into your mouth by the pint. Come on. Well, so, to be fair, they probably not. They shouldn't be doing it straight into the mouth. There should be a glass involved. <laughs> Alex, does that happen in your bar? Or? No, I won't allow anybody to do that. No, good, good, good man. Right. Well, that's the game. Um, final scores: Alex triumphant with the first ever Garrett Collins game, five out of whatever the total could have been. Um, MJ battling back courageously with ten. And Stuart trailing Shut the up. rear. Shut up. With, Shut up. <laughs> with more than 10. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, well, let's just leave it there. Yeah, yeah. Um, congratulations, Alex. Also, thank you very mm-hmm. much to Garrett, who I'm hoping is listening to the show. Thank you very much for doing that for us. Cheers, we Garrett. may call upon you again one day. <laughs> oh. Oh, who knows? Um, yes, yeah, so thank you very much there to Garrett for helping us out with the game. Let's move on to <laughs> the main part of the show, which is probably not going to last too long. Um, death Row Meals. Um, yeah, let's keep it simple. You're on Death Row. You've done something a bit naughty. Perhaps you've been fingering too many foods in the supermarket and the college and the, or Matt N has pissed you off and you've done something you shouldn't. Um, you're in the clink. You've got your last meal. Oh, fuck. Guys, what do you have? Fuck. Have you not done research for this? No, I thought we were doing deaf row, as in an argument that you get into with someone that can't hear. <laughs> what food would you have in that situation? So mine would all be um, sort of visual foods. <laughs> no nachos there. None loud, of those so. invisible foods. No. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> invisible food. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll drop to... St- I can't even speak. Carry on. What's going on? Deaf um, row. Simple rules. It's a three-course meal. Two drinks, one alcoholic, one non. Um, we'll do it round robin style. So, first dish. Uh, MJ, let's go with you since you fucked yourself up. We're, we're doing starters all round, are we? Uh, I think Alex has slightly changed the rules for him. But, uh, yeah. Love it. So, my starter would be smoked salmon uh, with perhaps a very small crack of black pepper Some and lemon juice a large wedge of lemon Correct. told you knew yeah that, so good knowledge oh so, there you go probably makes up for the fact that i lost the last game so there we go there we go <laughs> wedge. okay sure I'll, I'll knock off one point from your score so yay <laughs> still over 10 so. uh, alex what would your first uh, dish be <sighs> my first dish yeah, so I didn't know if I, we were going to do like small plates. That's why I asked you, and you're like, ah, whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. In that case, my first plate is um, going to be breakfast. Um, pretty typically at breakfast, I'll have two breakfasts because uh, much like wow. Stuart, I'm obsessed with food, and then I like to shove it all in my face. <laughs> so <clears throat> I couldn't decide which uh, to go with, so I decided on both. And I'm going with the classic chicken and waffles. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is Stuart a chicken farmer or something? No, did you not? Uh, you probably didn't hear it. No, you'd be happy about. <laughs> um, Stuart. Um, chicken liver pate with some, um, like, with, with, like, a little bit of to- uh, toast or something. Love it. Absolutely adore it. What, like a chicken burger? No, chicken liver pate. Yeah, like a, ch- a chicken burger. Not a patty. Pate. Oh, penis. sorry. Oh, 
Grosh. How do you spell, how do you spell that? P A T E with a thing on it. So. Oh, Pate. I've never only ever seen it written chicken down. Chicken Pate, yeah. Yeah, Chicken yeah. Pate. Pete, what are you having? Um, I've gone for deep fried brie with a cranberry compote. Oh, wow. Jesus. Um, Fucking fancy pants in this death row. <laughs> hey, it's my last fucking meal. Yeah, I'm not pissed either. around. Yeah, um, why, yeah, why hide your personality if you're about to die? <laughs> <laughs> That's my motto. Um, yeah, I just love the contrast of textures and, and sweet, sweetness and savoury all in there. It's, um, I'm not a huge starter. I couldn't really think of one that I absolutely <laughs> adore and would have in any slight circumstance, but... Um, that's as good as any. I, I, I'll go for that. Um, next that I've got on the list is non-alcoholic drink. Uh, we'll go around in the same order. MJ. Non-alcoholic drink? Mm. Great question. Glad you asked it. Glad I asked it on the text earlier. Correct. I would probably have a very tall glass <laughs> <coughs> filled with a liquid, the name of which I will tell you now. Uh, no. Um, it probably would be Bar's cream soda with a twist of raspberry. <clears throat> cool. Interesting. Nice. Maybe a squirt of cream on top, a bit like a float. A large, thick straw and plenty of ice. Like you said, you're about to die, so why hurt your personality? Alex? <laughs> with, some, with some strawberry puree mixed in and a bit of vanilla syrup. Carry on. Mine's going to sound... Re- Mine's going to sound really boring after that. Um, I'm not, I don't really drink <laughs> soda, but... It, I'm on death row. Might as well just go out and just, you know, live life to the fullest. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about your teeth. <clears throat> no, no, not at all. So I'm going to go with a classic cherry Coke. Oh, nice. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you can thank Law for that one. Um, I, I would have thought you'd gone for coffee. No, no. Stuart. I would have put, put booze in it. I hadn't even a thought about coffee, but I'm not going to go for coffee. I'm going to have a um, I'm going to have KA ginger beer. Wow! Wow! Yeah, wakes you up just about to, before you go to sleep. Yeah, love love a KA ginger beer. That's what I'm on. Peterson, uh, easy king of the sodas, cherry what? coke. Next. Oh, oh, easy. Not yeah. even close. It's 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 just probably one of the best drinks ever. Anyway, so. Blimey vibes. Mm. Blimey vibes. Um, so your main your main meal, Mr. MJ. <clears throat> it's, it's, uh, as I uh, as I said to my wife when I first met her, it's quite a big one. Um, oh. And, and and as she replied, yes. that's barely even average. Um, <laughs> so it'd be a wood fired pepperoni pizza okay. with a side of wood fired garlic pizza bread. And some crispy chicken tenders. Good lad. Yeah. Nice. Do you think yeah. you'd get that? Do you think you could afford that in fifteen dollars? Um, <laughs> Was there a fifteen dollar stipulation? Yeah. Only if you're in Oklahoma, mate. <laughs> Only in Don't Oklahoma. kill anyone in Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> they're fucking um, killing me. I want them to install an oven. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're putting you in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Fucking hell. Um, Alex. Okay, uh, my main dish. So, I was thinking, how do I define my main dish? Where does it come from? I was thinking about um, something that would remind me of better times, <laughs> happier times. <laughs> and not the Delight fact that times. I'm about to be lethally injected with poison. Mm. Um, so... I, of course, am from Mexican descent, so I have a Mexican dish, or a platillo, as it were, mm. and it's called guisado de res, and oh, you'd have to probably well. dig up one or both of my grandmothers, bring them back to life, and have them make it for me, because, that, was this part is- of the stipulation, or no? <laughs> I was going to say, is that your official request to the warden? Yeah. Hey, can you dig up my dead grandmothers, please? Thanks. You're not killing me until you re- revive them. Yeah, and uh, so the guisado de res is a braised beef stew. Mm. It's got uh, some peppers in it. It's got some tomato. It's got a really nice, thick um, stew-like substance. And uh, we're doing your typical rice and beans on the side as well. Nice. Nice. 
Yes. Good work. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. big time. Stuart. Um, uh, uh, in honour of the reason that I am going to be on Death Row, my final main course will be human flesh. No, um, I, I'm, I'm going to go Mexican as well because I bloody love Mexican food. I'm going to go for a massive, great, big, um, probably uh, like a, a lamb or a mutton burrito. But I want everything with it. I want some. I want some tortillas with with plenty of pico. I want lots of guac. I want some cactus. I want absolutely everything that goes with it because. Uh, but yeah, that would be it for me. Uh, an amazing, gigantic, grande burrito yes. or a burro. Or a burro. Uh, I'm not yeah. talking burrito. I want the full burro on this one. Yeah. How? 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 You hurt yourself, Michael. That's Mexican. Oh, yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. Correct, yeah. I've seen Coco. <laughs> I've seen I've seen Book of Life, same in it, so... Ooh, no, not at all. Is it not? It looks the same. But anyway, Nathan, carry on. That's what they, that's what they say a lot. Hey, it looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, call back to an earlier show. I'm going to have a big, fucking, huge roast Penis. lamb. Oh. Mm. Big... Thick, fatty slices, cooked medium, so there's a nice hue of pinkness to it. Roast lamb heart? Mm, uh, yeah, I, no, I'm just going to go. I'm just going just casual lamb because I think being on death row and eating lamb's heart as the final meal might just be a bit too much on the nose. <laughs> um, all the accoutrements, uh, so your gravy, potatoes, honey roasted parsnips, roasted onions, peas, cauliflower cheese, a Yorkshire pudding because fuck the purists. And uh, mint sauce everywhere. Correct. Nice. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Nate's message to the warden. Oh, can you make sure that all the proper accoutrements? <laughs> <laughs> they take it to the to the chefs, and they're like, "Oh, it's the guy who ordered the brie with cranberry compote again." <laughs> <laughs> um, alcoholic drinks. MJ. Oh. I'm I'm not a big drinker, but tell you Eight what, pints. <laughs> <laughs> shock horror. Um, I would order a cocktail that I well actually it'd be between two. It's either pina colada, a bloody strong coconut <laughs> sweet pina colada, or that would go down well with the fellow inmates, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, my deep fried brie is too far, but you're drinking a fucking pina colada on your way. Look at this, got one of those cocktail umbrellas in. Um, <laughs> Or TGI Fridays do a great cocktail called Barnum and Bailey's, which is ice cream, creme de menthe, Oreos, and it's basically just a chocolate minty Oreo uh, ice cream cocktail thing. Alex. <laughs> Same answer for you, Alex? Yeah, there, I mean, you just took the jizz right out of my mouth. Wait, what? I don't know. Oh. Um <clears throat> I'm going for a very simple, top shelf, neatly poured bourbon. Mm. <sighs> Fuck me. Any particular brand? Any particular? Oh, uh, we can start at the Blanchons Stop. and move up from there. Well, we'll see what the warden and what's on the warden's list there. It's not his bourbon list. Stuart. Um, like a, a sick super hoppy double IPA, um, nice. and, and any style New England or Nebraska, depending on your, your point of view. Um, yeah, just a beast in double IPA and a bucket of it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't sort of quantify the, the amounts that we could have. <laughs> I, 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 no. I, I, yeah, a bucket right. of alcohol is probably allowable. Yeah, pour it on me like flash dance. Stone Cold Steve Austin's delivering it to me in a beer in a beer truck, um, and squirting it all over me. That's that's Sorry. the way I want it delivered. Hmm? Correct. <laughs> I'll have mine poured down one of those ice statues you can get where it comes down the penis. It's and that's a really statue nice. of you though, isn't it, Michael? It's a statue of me. Yes, yeah, so it's yeah. a very small penis, but <laughs> Nathan. Um, well, as I'm going out, I, I want to save. The last moment, so I'm um, I'm going to go for a Disarano on the ice, <laughs> on the rocks. 
just chilling oh, out with the It's disability. adorable. Yeah. Oh. It's my favourite alcoholic drink. Deal with it. It's good, yeah. Well done. Yeah. Didn't didn't mock you guys. Um no. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh I've gone for a dessert. I think Alex has gone for something slightly uh, different, but uh, yeah, dessert. No, I, I actually did pick a dessert. Oh you did? Okay, yeah. cool. MJ, what would you have as your dessert? Your so, desert. There's a, there's a couple of classics that I like, but I think I'd have to go with one of my all-time favourites, <clears throat> as long as it's made well, which it would be, because I'd ensure it, it would be. Um, They've installed an oven for you, so why wouldn't they make you a good dessert? Precisely. There'd be no excuse for making a bad um, version of this product. Profiteroles <laughs> with salted caramel and chocolate sauces... And they're filled with fresh whipped cream, not creme pat. You're so yeah. you're an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm glad you're dying. You're an absolute <laughs> idiot. Uh, we're all that's that's my motto. We're all dying, Stuart. It's just some die at different times to other people who also die at times <laughs> different. It's catchy time. that. That is catchy. Yeah. It is catchy. Would you get Stuart. that tattooed? Can yeah. you repeat that for us word by word? Yeah. Yeah. So. So what it is, Stuart, is that we will all die, and sometimes it will be at one time, and another time people will die at different times to the other times. Uh, so what was it? What time is it? Chico time. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> Alex. Uh, yeah, I picked a dessert just because I never eat dessert. If we're out at a restaurant, I never get dessert. Um, not a huge sweets person, but I decided. On death row, still got a little bit of cash in my death row me- last meal fund, and um, I'm going with a double chocolate cake. Ooh. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Oh no! It's a bit for me. Mm. It's a bit too vanilla, and obviously, I mean that as a kind of <laughs> as a euphemism. It's it's too. It's not rich enough. No, it's just basic. It's so yeah. basic. I'm a basic ass bitch when yet. it comes to dessert. Mm. Yeah. I mean it's not, I mean I'd still I mean it's better than Nathan's Nathan choosing Disarano Disarano as his <laughs> alcohol, but it's no nah, no good man. You're dying, you know, you eat what you want, mate. Yeah, well, you're right. Don't we should both have dresses on right now. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart, what what's non vanilla dessert have you got? Giant baked chocolate peanut butter cheesecake. Wow. I fucking hate cheesecake. Like, dense as anything. <laughs> dense. Hard cheesecake. Like, you've got to work to get through it like a proper, big, dirty man's cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm glad you had a cheesecake there. <laughs> Wait, hard cheesecake? What, like parmesan? <laughs> yeah. I want, I, what I want is essentially, I want two wedges of parmesan <laughs> with, with a Reese's peanut butter cup. Wedged in between them. That's what I'm having. That sounds really good. Is that just so that they <laughs> does sound good actually? Is that just so they delay your um the time that they kill you because it's going right. to take you so fucking long to get through it? It take me literally seconds to get through that. You've not seen me eat, boy. I would be I would be all through that faster than anything. Two chunks of parmesan, Reese's peanut butter cup in the middle, <laughs> smashed, gone. <laughs> Beat that pizza. Oh, you're gonna love mine then. Um. So, a Victoria sponge, please, <laughs> prison warden. Re- <clears throat> reconstructed, dehydrated, decomposed, eaten mess. I was gonna a- say, it's eaten mess, isn't it? He's gone for eaten mess. I haven't, actually. I've gone even worse than that. because Cheese pod. I, I want to go out as a psychopath, so I've gone for a, uh, <laughs> a, a, a butterscotch ice cream sundae. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Is it? What, no, what, what day do you eat that one? feels a bit childish. Correct. Like they're, they're killing a guy who's got the mental age of Michael Jameson. I mean, you're following, oh. your, you're following your child's alcoholic beverage with your child's dessert. It exactly. Is, you're, not getting, you're not getting a last-minute reprieve on this, you know, by eating children's party food. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have jelly and ice cream, please, Warden. <laughs> I thought I would. No, it's just, it's just a, it's, it's a simple pleasure. It's something that reminds me of my childhood. It's a dessert I loved as a kid, and so why not? Enjoy it one last time, mate. Yeah, it's fine. You eat it, mate. Like I said no. before, you're you're the one that's dying, mate. No, exactly. you know, whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Murdering murdering people, eating children's desserts. You know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the other way around. Um, 
Brilliant. I think <laughs> I think that's everything. Um, so yeah, so let us know what you think of our death row meals. Um, email us at fruitcast at gmail dot com or hit us up on social social medias. Let us know what you think about ours. Let us know what you would have as your death row meal. Um, we don't care really, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but send them in though. Yeah, but send them in. You won't, because nobody ever does. Not entirely sure anyone listens. Um, That's pretty much our show. Um, Thank you very much, Alex, for coming on. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. Um, Do you want to just give us a reminder of where they can find you and your fine, fine podcast network? Oh, my God. BingeMedia.net is our website. Search Binge Media on any of the podcast apps or on iTunes and all that stuff. Binge Media on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Binge Media. <laughs> Excellent. That was um, slick. That was slick. It's almost like he's done it before. <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for coming on. Hopefully it won't be the last time. Thank you to that. MJ and Stuart for joining me. No Stuart problem. for the whole show, MJ just for <clears throat> a little bit. Part yeah, time. I'm sorry that uh, the, the Marvel movie Black Panther was released in the new United Kingdom today, uh, so I went to see that, and uh, that's why I was late. I don't know if they explained that, but uh, I yeah, thought we, you should know. Yeah, we told them. I, I thought no, sorry, I thought they should know from me. That's that's my motto: no from me. <laughs> so many models. <laughs> just pick one. That's his that's, motto. Just that's my just... motto: not enough mottos. <laughs> Um, finally, thank you all for listening. Um, we hope you've enjoyed our show, and if you if you haven't already done so, please subscribe so that you can uh, keep uh, keep track of our future episodes. Uh, please also throw us a review on iTunes. Um, it obviously helps us push the show forward and hope, hopefully get uh, n- new listeners. Um, if you want to keep on top of the food review them, uh, food reviews themselves, um, search for us on YouTube and Facebook, um, and you can also follow us. On Twitter at Food Review UK or Instagram at Fruck Graham. That's the show. Ooh. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. Tune in for more. <laughs> Is another show after this, or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said you're good for another two hours, right, Alex? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's Thanks. my motto. I've got two hours in me. <laughs>